they don't want you to know that semen retention benefits are real that's what we're talking about in this video if you guys notice they promote beating the meat releasing your seed is healthy for you it's healthy for down there it prevents certain things and all that but nobody ever talks about the other side about retaining what you can expect and all that but we're gonna go ahead and break that down in this video so yes there's benefits I'm gonna go ahead and point out some you're gonna notice like hey your testosterone going up with your testosterone going up you're gonna notice hey your vibes gonna go up a whole lot better you're gonna become happier you're gonna become more confident you're gonna feel your energy levels going up all right so if you never learned about retention you should start seeing benefits within your first week if you guys didn't know when you end up releasing your seed you kind of get this brain fog and this brain fog is where you're feeling slow you're feeling sluggish you're not thinking that fast you're not thinking properly you're just feeling off it's like you're having a really clumsy day and you're kind of a little bit awkward this is something that you guys will notice on your first week you should notice that pretty much go away of course this could be different for everybody timelines that's the thing I don't like about timelines. People say, hey, you're gonna see this benefit at this certain day and all that. Everybody's built differently. Everybody's body works differently. And there's a bunch of factors that come into play, like your diet, your sleep, your age, and people don't realize that. So with that brain fog, it should be the first week. Also, there was a study done. This was only one study, so it's like one of those things that it could be hit or miss. Seven days of retention increases your testosterone there are other youtubers that they go out there they take a testosterone test and all that and they do it like a week later maybe a month and they do notice that their testosterone comes into play I actually read an article this was one that i read it was off of reddit so keep in mind it's a reddit story but this guy he ended up testing his testosterone retained for a month he did his testosterone again and he noticed an increase and he was taking note of his sleep his nutrition all kinds of little details but he noticed the increase and the reason why i'm emphasizing testosterone is because this is like one of the most important things if you guys don't know testosterone is what makes you a man it makes you really high vibrant makes you energetic makes you happy so like these are the benefits of retention so when you retain you're going to notice hey my energy levels are skyrocketing i feel really energetic i feel ambitious i feel driven and this is all partly due to testosterone testosterone is a really good hormone all these little benefits that people start talking about are partly mainly due to testosterone so that's why i'm emphasizing it so much but you're going to notice hey you're thinking a whole lot sharper you're more present in the moment you're going to notice everything pretty much going around you you're going to just be focusing just being aware of it and it's like whoa you're in tune with the world you can notice when people are making eye contact with you that's another thing you'll notice is your eye contact your confidence it's something that i do take into consideration when people say like that eye contact attraction i believe your testosterone does make you more confident and you get this confidence when you just like go to your day-to-day -day basis you make this eye contact but then i also believe it's partly due to watching youtube videos being informed and just all these other things so it's kind of like a placebo effect coming in as well so it's like a combination of both you guys are going to notice your eyes are going to become a little bit more glowing i know of course i'm wearing glasses and this is something that i do because i like the look with the glasses but i did end up making a video that hey your eyes will end up glowing and I'll try linking it in this video. If I forget, I do apologize. The other benefit you guys are gonna notice, and this is something that people don't really take into consideration, is discipline. So when you start retaining, you're going against your natural instincts, you're going against your urges. This is something that is gonna be challenging for you, especially if you guys wanna start noticing benefits like the female attraction and all that, or just like being confident. You're gonna to have to go with like two, two weeks to maybe a month and to start noticing some of these benefits and that's why i'm not getting you guys too much of a timeline like oh you're going to see this benefit on week one you're going to see this benefit on week two going back to the discipline you guys are going to notice that hey i'm more willing to just go out there focus on something and this is why there's videos out there saying hey retention will make you successful and that's because you're disciplined you're focused enough and then your testosterone making you more ambitious and driven you're going to just be more motivated to go out there and just go get shit done the other thing you guys will notice is your voice it's going to feel more confident so this is something that i talk about like confidence you're going to notice your body posture feels a little bit different people are going to also notice it in your voice i talked about this with my buddy well not like talk to it but he's like hey you sound different you sound tired 
and I was thinking in my head, I was like, oh shit, he didn't know that I previously reset my streak and released the seed, and that's why I'm feeling tired. And that's another thing you guys will notice. There's also downsides, which you're gonna notice that brain fog, if you release your seed, you're gonna get sluggish, tired, slow, and just like all these negative things, which I don't really care for. I actually, now that I've been practicing retention, whenever I release my seed, it's weird. I get like really drained and then I get migraines on top of that. So I'm like, shit, your body isn't meant to release it. And this is like a different subject, but no fap. If you guys don't know what that is, that's pretty much cutting out the spicy seed content, the meat beating, and then the O, which is releasing your seed. When you guys most likely practice retention, you're probably not watching spicy content. I'm gonna just throw that out there. And spicy content, if you guys don't know, it really affects your brain in bad ways. I'm not gonna go into the science on that, but it gives you like a false reality. It could also cause like ED and stuff like that. You guys can learn more about that, but I just wanna throw that out there that most likely you're gonna be cutting out spicy content. Should you do retention? So this is something that a lot of you guys are thinking, oh, benefits are fake or they're not real give it a shot find out for yourself it may be for you it may not personally for me i noticed that once i started retaining i started noticing my energy levels go up i noticed that brain fog go away and i just got more clear more focused more ambitious more driven and it's something that you guys have to experience for yourself so honestly practice it for 30 days and then decide oh okay he's fluffing it up he's making a bunch of bs or you guys can decide for yourself be like oh okay he's telling the truth anyways guys that's the video don't forget to smash that like button and i'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next one